Hi, my name is Fatai, and today we're talking about antibiotic coverage for pneumonia. When you think about inf infectious disease, there's two things that has to be on your mind. When there is a particular infectious disease, whether it's a pneumonia, a UTI, meningitis, or whatever the case may be, you first have to think about what organism likely caused that particular infection. And when you think about the organism that caused the infection, then you can think about what antibiotic is likely to treat that particular infection. And today we'll talk about antibiotic coverage for pneumonia. Um, there's several forms of pneumonia. Obviously, you have a community acquired pneumonia. And you can also have a healthcare associated pneumonia. For community acquired pneumonia, there are several treatment strategies. You can very well treat community acquired pneumonia as an outpatient thing where you give antibiotics to the patient, you can be managed on the outside of the hospital. But today we'll focus on inpatient management of community acquired pneumonia. So when you think about community acquired pneumonia, what organism are you most concerned uh, with? There is number one, the most virulent forms or the most common isolated organism in patients with community acquired pneumonia has been till date streptococcus pneumonia. So whatever antibiotic you're using, there has to be coverage for streptococcus pneumonia. Having said that, in several other scenarios, they, they've also isolated a lot of times atypical organisms like your uh, mycoplasma, pneumo mycoplasma pneumonia, H. influenza, Legionella, and all of these other organisms that you have to provide coverage for when you're treating community-acquired pneumonia. Don't forget that in certain cases of community-acquired pneumonia, there might have been a, a, an initial infection of uh, by a virus virus as well. So you also have to think about, you know, antiviral coverage if, if the signs are, are clearly indicated or probably if you isolated them from or if you if you actually tested for them and they were positive and if it's within the first 48 hours you know all that drift but anyways for bacterial antibiotic uh, uh, coverage for pneumonia you have to think about the organism and think about antibiotics like we said most common likely organism isolated will be strep pneumonia so your antibiotic has to be able to cover for that and there has to be coverage for atypical organisms as well when you when we then go into the particular antibiotic so there's two strategies when it comes to managing community acquired pneumonia in the hospital um, you either have a combination therapy um, which will involve a beta lactam antibiotic and uh, something for the atypical coverage or you can have a monotherapy that's pretty much most of the time just you know your your uh, quinolones your fluoroquinolones you also have to bear in mind that these patients may not always be treated in the medical floors for example there are certain cases where patients that are admitted for pneumonia is really bad the septic shock and all of that involved it may be treated in an ICU and some other considerations are made in that instance but now we'll focus on for example inpatient medical ward management for community acquired pneumonia so let's get to it with the combination therapy you need a beta lactam antibiotic preferably your third generation uh, uh, cephalosporin, preferably your ceftriaxone. The reason why is that the ceftriaxone there is for the strep pneumonia coverage, it's for the strep pneumonia. So that is a very good coverage for that. Uh, for the atypicals on the other hand, um, uh, you have two options. You have azithromycin or the microlyse in general or your tetracycline, specifically doxycycline. But what, what are some of the considerations that we make that may, make us choose one over the other? For the atypical coverage, like I can say you can either use macrolides or you no know, tetracycline doxycycline preferably why shouldn't you use macrolide what are the contraindications to macrolide for example most of the common ones that we see is patients with prolonged qt qt segment prolongation is a contraindication for uh, a macrolide so you want to avoid that because the macrolides obviously will potentiate that and you know that can be bad um you want to avoid macrolide in that instance and choose um a tetracycline doxycycline preferably so like i said combination therapy ceftriaxone stands on its own uh uh, and you can add you can add a macrolide or a doxycycline, making a simple ceftriaxone, azithromycin, or ceftriaxone doxycycline. That is the option we have for the combination therapy. For the monotherapy, on the other hand, the fluoroquinolones are preferred. Uh, the fluoroquinolones that we know that are useful in this instance, in this scenario, is your levofloxacin and the moxiflox, moxifloxacin. Because ciprofloxacin, like we all know, has very poor pneumococcal coverage, so you want to avoid that. Um, so again, with the monotherapy, uh, levofloxacin, moxifloxacin is you know quite your preferred choices. Um, you also 
don't have to think about patients, for example, that have some allergies. So if you have a patient with a, a penicillin allergy, you understand that there's a degree of cross reactivity or cross sensitivity to uh, uh, the cephalosporin. So it becomes an issue where you may not want to use your ceftriaxone. Then your fluoroquinolone monotherapy becomes super useful in this instance. All right, levofloxacin or moxifloxacin, you know, just takes preference. So again, uh, the options are based on what you want to do. The efficacy is pretty much on the same level, but you have patients that are allergic to penicillins. Um, in that instance, you may want to sh just shelve your, your combination therapy and focus on the monotherapy. Um, there are also some other uh, uh, scenarios that we might have to talk about, but in this video, let's focus on this. In the next video, I'll talk about managing community acquired pneumonia, for example, in the ICU. I'll see you shortly.